Hey guys, I hope you guys are having one awesome, awesome week. So a few weeks ago, it's probably gonna be like three months ago by the time you guys get the footage, but somebody challenged me to use Play-Doh to hunt birds with out of a out of a blowgun. Now, I thought about it for a while and I remember the consistency and weight of Play-Doh. I didn't like the consistency and weight, so what I did was I substituted Play-Doh for clay. Now this is the same clay I dig from the flay right here at the back of the house. Um, it's really, really nice pliable clay. Um, you can see the, 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 the quality of clay if you put your finger and you le it leaves a fingerprint in the clay. That's what the type of clay you're wanting. And they're really nice and solid, sticks together easily. Um, so yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, so I rolled this into balls and I went hunting. I hope you enjoy the footage. One of my favorite sounds. It's a hoopoo in the plum tree right there. And a Cape Robin chat. So guys, getting to this video, um, what I'm actually doing is I'm making round balls. I'm seeing what other projectiles I can shoot out of a blowgun efficiently. Uh, one of my subs asked me to use Play-Doh. I am not going to use Play-Doh because Play-Doh is lighter than clay. Um, so what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm taking Potter's clay. So this is really nice clay. You can mold it quite nicely. This will be an interesting test. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just making round balls. Um, that's a little bit small, add a little bit. And it has to be quite a snug fit to get the right um, amount of speed on the ball. The question is, will this be heavy enough to actually kill a bird? We'll soon find out. No. Oh, that was a hit. <laughs> hey, 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 drop it, drop it, drop it. I said drop. My bird. <laughs> that was brought down with a clay ball. The hit. Oh, another one hit. I think that one got stuck. Hey, just missed that one's head. Two shots in a row, I hit two birds. See if I can pick this one up. Fell in here. I don't know where it fell to. Didn't fall through, eh? There it is over there, it's dead. It's just stuck. Yeah. Shoot it again. Only way to get it down. To hit and now it's stuck here. Okay, so there's my second bird downed with clay balls. Um, they're not actually that bad. I hit one there that was a glancing blow and I didn't manage to get my bird. No. Have a look at that replay. Oh, that was a hit. <laughs> down he comes. Got him. Another bird down. Ha -ha. No man. If I've got it, I've got it. <laughs> Third bird 
killed. I think this is like the fourth bird hit. Um, ah, these clay balls are actually doing the trick. So the reset time for this is like five minutes a ball to make them by hand. I might just make a jig for it later on. But it uh, gives enough time for the quilia to resettle and regroup. So actually not a bad thing. Not necessarily a bad thing because areas that I've already hunted clearly have moved back in since I was there last. It was a hit. Another bird hit. Don't know if it came down. It wasn't a solid hit, it was kind of like a glancing blow. Land your six. Come on, come on, come on. Don't think it fell. Another one down. Ah, oh, he caught himself. Try to get him again. Where is he? I think it's one of those ones that went a bit higher. Yeah, must have been one of those ones that went a bit higher. There's one up there. Oh, that one was solidly hit. Good go. <laughs> Shake it off, yeah. That's a solid hit. Uh, no, no, my bed. Good girl, drop it, drop it. Okay guys, that is the final bird. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop the footage right there. Unfortunately, I was wounding a lot of birds with this, with this clay, and that is not my style. If I'm wounding stuff, I stop shooting. So, um, yes, it is hunt you can hunt with it, and yes, it does work for hunting, but no, I would not recommend it for general hunting, everyday hunting. I would have had, I think, seven or eight birds if I'd been shooting with a normal dart just bear that in mind obviously if you've got nothing else clay will work um, if i'm in a dire situation and i've got to survive it, i've got to survive for five days or six days and i don't have darts i will definitely use clay but it's not it will be a last resort so if you guys want to challenge me to something else please feel free to give me a challenge i am already making a video on uh, uh quills for darts so don't challenge me on that. That one, that video is in the pipelines already. Um, I've already actually done it. I just need to edit it. But this one will come out before that one. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome week. So if you haven't not done so, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in a week's time.